But now we are going to construct the first half of our ice cream truck. This portion consists of four quads and then at the top you have a triple balloon set. The, the second column consists of five quads. You want to take a 260 <clears throat> and just tie it around the bottom base of your first column, securing it in a knot. Being that this is an alternating packed column, when you slide them together, you want to make sure that they nestle into each other. And then you take your balloon. This is why I didn't know what it was. And pull it over and secure it in. And this is the first half. Okay guys, so I'm gonna secure this section of the ice cream truck to the middle column. I have already secured the grill and the second column together. And this is what they look like. So this is actually two columns together. I will lay this flat Pull them together, ensuring that the colors match. Take your 260, <clears throat> tie it on to the bottom of the previous column. And then you want to stretch the balloon across, down in between. Wrap it, come up, pull through, make sure it goes down in between the balloons, and then wrap them again to secure and tie. Then you want to take a second 260, go up higher, tie, and then again stretch across. Pull everything together and then again secure it. So now you should have this. Now we're going to secure the roof to the previous columns. utilizing a pole to stabilize your designs well, you also want to make sure that when you have an exposed piece here like this pole on here you secure it with a balloon that way 
when you put it into your design, it does not pop your balloons. And then your pole is covered. And then I have a second pole. Just wanna make sure they're covered. Now we are going to insert the pole into our design. And at this point, you can also take some scrap 260s and secure them onto the pole just to secure your design. And then you'll take the shorter one. Slide it right in there. I should have put an extra pole. to construct the wheel for the ice cream truck. I've already created one off camera. <clears throat> and if you can't already tell, the theme is of course summer. So this is an 18 inch foil summer themed. And you will take your hand pump, insert it into the nozzle. They are self-sealing, so you will just press to seal, and you've got it. Okay, so what you wanna do is grab a piece of tape or balloon bond or any adhesive that you choose to use. You wanna tape the nozzle down onto the balloon, onto itself, to hide the nozzle so that you have a clean look. Uh, then you wanna take a 260 balloon you can use one matching the color of your design or just use a clear one, which I've used today. And just line it up with the seam of your balloon. Grab a few pieces of tape or the balloon bond, whichever you're using. And then you want to secure in four different spaces on the balloon. There you go. Now I have blown up the black balloon off camera. I have them here in my little bag. So what you wanna do is blow these up. These are five inch balloons and you wanna blow them up to your desired size. Today I've chosen four inches. And you want to lift the balloon you've wrapped around the balloon. Take one of the nozzles from the black balloon, put it under. <coughs> wrap around and then tie in a knot and you have your balloon secured on and then I'll show you once more again take one of the nozzles go under the clear balloon again wrap tie into a knot and then just slide it up and then you continue with this around the balloon until you have the balloon completed. 
So now you want to create an anchor so that you can secure your wheel to your design. You want to take the 260, get all the air out of it, tie it into a knot on the end, and then you want to lay it flat onto the balloon, and then tape it. And you're going to be taping in a cross pattern. Once you get your centerpiece on, you want to secure that in the opposite direction. And that last piece, make sure it's all secured. And then you want to tie a knot, double tie. Now you have your anchor to secure your wheel. Now we're going to add a couple of accent pieces to give our design a more realistic look. created in the beginning of the video what we're going to do is tie the two ends together like a rubber band basically forming a loop make sure it's tight like that and then you want to find your position where you want to put it and then go Last minute adjusting, and you got it. Now we're gonna secure the final touches, the ice cream cone. Make sure you add a anchor point at the bottom of your balloon. And there's your ice cream truck. And this is the final result, guys. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. This design can be used for birthday parties or ice cream socials. The options are limitless. Just change up the color and the theme to match your event. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.